Hello and welcome back. Time for another anime review. Let's just get this out of the way here, alright? Now, if you watch my top three worst anime of spring 2014, I mentioned this there as number three. So? Oh, no. Here we go. So, let's get this review out, out of the fucking way then, okay? This, of course, is Blade and Soul. It's actually based on a uh, Korean fantasy martial arts massive multiplayer online role-playing game developed by NC soft um, uh, the anime is directed by Hiroshi Takeuchi and Hiroshi Hamasaki and produced by Iri Nagata and written by Atsuhiro Tomioko and it's produced by Studio Gonzo. So already you can tell it's not it doesn't have a great start here. I've heard of some good things there by Gonzo like Desert Punk and uh, Chrono Crusade. I've seen Psychono, which is by Gonzo, and it did have problems, but I actually really liked it. But mostly Gonzo is mostly shit. And it, it originally ran from April third, two thousand fourteen to June twenty sixth, two thousand fourteen with a total of thirteen episodes. And it's shit. What can I say? Really, the before I get into the reasons why, which should be obvious though, the only reason I could really recommend this is, it, it, is if you're a horny teenager and you a horny teenage male that is, and you want good jerk off material. And even then, it's not the greatest for it. I mean, come on. Well, mm, uh, I guess it just depends on who you are. Anyways, though. Blade and Soul revolves around the uh, main character whose name escapes me right now, and I really don't care either. And she is a female that's always wearing a slutty outfit, <laughs> no surprise here, and she basically wants revenge for her master. That's it. That is it for her character. Now, I have nothing wrong with revenge stories. I have said this time and time again. I'm going to say it again until it burns into people's brains. I like revenge stories if they're done right, okay? I mean, but in terms of, say, Sasuke Uchiha from Naruto, that was just an infuriating one. This is just a fucking lazy one. Seriously. I mean, she literally has no fucking personality. I mean, she does start to get some semblance of it up towards the end of the series, but at that point, it's like, who gives a shit at this point? The damage has already been done. Seriously. <clears throat> she is just so boring as a main character. And it infuriates me that they could write such a boring fucking character. Okay. Oh, man. There's lots of other characters. All the female characters have some sort of skin showing. There's like this uh, woman who's the head of the Pleasure Gang. And yes, it's actually called the Pleasure Gang. And the most she has for provocative skin showing is that her breasts, which are huge, by the way, are sh like the tops of her showing. That's really it for her. But there's this other chick who wants to kill uh, the our main female lead. I use that term very loosely, by the way. Who has like this bikini top that's covering her nipples, and that's just about it. And then like this bottom which is so fucking tiny it's like do they really sell this garbage huh I know it seems weird for me coming from a guy which yes I am straight by the way but do they really sell this garbage and do women really wear it for everyday use I don't fucking know but and then of course there's the main uh, villain who actually Oddly enough, I liked her because she played off the villain role perfectly. 
her na her name is a Jin Va Bariel, I believe, or Jin Valiel, or something like that. I'll just call her Jin when referring to her. And she basically has this like black glowing, this black stuff coming off of her, which is called impurity, which has the ability to almost instantly kill anyone it touches. Which is, I have to admit, was really a fucking awesome. Okay. And that's pretty much all there is to this series. It is such a bore. The art, like, I didn't even know this was Gonzo before I went into it. I actually didn't pay attention to that. Going into it, I instantly knew it was Gonzo because of the art. I'm not kidding. That's how recognizable their art is. That's how sad it's gotten at this point, okay? Um... The animation is mostly shit, although when it gets into a fight scene, the animation is surprisingly good. It's way better than it has any fucking business being. Okay, I mean, let, let me just tell you that right now. It's way, the animation in the series is way fucking better than it has any business being. It's not great, but it, isn't, it has no right to even be that good as far as I'm concerned. The music is pretty blackluster and blasé. <sighs> and of course, like I said before, the plot and the characters are just nonsensical. The main character is so fucking boring. The writing is shit. There's really not much good about it except the animation's pretty decent sometimes. And the main villain was actually pretty cool in both looks and actions. She looked like a villain and she acted like a villain. Thank fucking God. I think I'm going to wrap up this review, though, because I really don't want to fucking talk about this series anymore. It was shit. Now, the reason on my list I didn't put it higher is because I kind of knew it was going to be... Sh I kind of had this feeling that it was going to be shit going into it. Okay. So, I wasn't really too surprised that it was shit. Um, unlike, say... Uh, Akuma no Riddle having one of the worst endings I've ever seen in fucking anime, period, and Black Bullet being so fucking disappointing because of the shitty-ass pacing. This, I kind of knew it was going to be shit, or at least not that great, going into it, even though I didn't realize it was from Gonzo at first. But, yeah, definitely stay away from this anime. It is not worth your time, as far as I'm concerned. Unless you have this, like, morbid curiosity. That's the only way I could have possibly recommend it to you. Is if you have this, like, morbid curiosity that you just have to watch it, then go right ahead. But I'm warning you, it is garbage. Okay? It is not worth it, as far as I'm concerned. I can't believe I wasted watching 13 episodes of this garbage. Anyways, overall, hope you enjoyed this review, guys. See you after, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.